Homely feeling for Damien Cook today. The Blues training at his club base Redfern Oval before breaking camp for the weekend. And he's feeling right at home within the Origin setup too, despite calls for him to be dropped for Appy Coruscant. I never think I'm in, in the squad until I'm picked every year. And uh, obviously it's an honour to be back here as well. But I think it's a great sign for you know the state that we've got a lot of people uh, competing for positions in, in all, everything. And it makes everyone uh, you know play to their best of their ability and uh, brings out the best in the team. And that's what we need to win this series. Cook isn't shy away from criticism of his form. In fact, he's actually comfortable with it. To be honest, I'm, I'm probably I'm worse, the toughest cricket of myself in my performance and um, uh, and how I go. So, you know, I'm, no one's said anything that I haven't said worse to myself. <laughs> but after a challenging run, something needed to change. And it was Wayne Bennett who helped the speedster rediscover his spark. He just uh, really simplified my game plan. Wayne, you know, when there's ever criticism, he, he's um, he's pretty good about it. He just he's put lots of confidence in you and what you can do. 992 days in the making. <laughs> The last one, back to the sheds, Jack DeBellin in tears, soaking up every minute. There was a bit of a standing ovation there too. Yeah. Is that emotional for you to see? Yeah, well, I said that to him after the game. I said it, it would have been a good feeling, um, you know, sort of going on the field there. And everyone was sort of, um, you know, gave him a, a big cheer and um, sort of warms the heart a little bit. It's good to see. So, I know, yeah, he's been through a lot. Matt Dufty was also emotional. He's being told to find a new club. I nearly teared up running that tunnel after the game. It was, um, you know, all the fans banging on, on, the, on the cage there. The feeling I can't describe, it was, it was a pretty special moment for myself. A far cry from the moment Anthony Griffin broke the news. It was obviously very heartbreaking and um, it was a hard pill to swallow, but, um, you know, we're, that's footy sometimes. But did the Dragons make the right call? Judging by last night, you'd say not. Dufty set up five tries and scored two of his own. I thought I was playing some, some good consistent footy and, um, you know, it's, it was obviously a bit of a shock. For his teammates as well. I was sort of sitting on the sideline tonight just going, you know, you'd be mad to let him go. Emma Lawrence, Nine News. Cameron Munster's Origin Series was almost over before it began with the Maroons 5'8 sweating on scans on his foot injury that could have ended his season. Surgery wasn't required and Munster will line up for Queensland on Wednesday night. He won't have played a game of football in over a month, but is leaving no stone unturned in an effort to reproduce last year's dominant performance that saw him crowned player of the series. Everyone knows me, I don't really do too much um, preparation or when it comes to, to training, I usually just run out on the paddock, but um, yeah, I'm obviously trying to do a little bit more rehab. The lungs will obviously be hurting. Every game you play Origin, it always hurts. Munster believes AJ Brimson can be the knockout blow the Maroons need. The Titans fullback trained for the first time as he looks to overcome bone bruising at his knee, but Dane Gagai was a no-show due to illness. He's expected to be fine by Wednesday. The only Bronco in the Maroon squad is gearing up for his first State of Origin match in Queensland. Xavier Coates will be the youngest player on the field, but what he lacks in experience, he more than makes up for in enthusiasm. He's the Maroon with a million dollar smile lighting up Origin Camp with his unbridled enthusiasm. It's infectious. Um, as soon as you see him and he's just got this big grin on his face. Xavier Coates made an immediate impact debuting for Queensland in 2020. But with the Broncos struggling, he feared he'd be overlooked for this year's series. I sort of uh, said to myself that if I keep working hard, things will come. So I kept my head down in training and I did my extras, I did everything. So to get the call from Greeny to say that I've got the call up to Origin, it's, it's a really good feeling and to know that he has trust in me. He has another ally in Brisbane teammate and former Maroons winger Corey Oates. Yeah, he's been unreal for me, Corey. You would think with him not being in this side, like he wouldn't give advice, but it's not like that. He's willing to give advice and to teach me what it takes to put on this Maroons jersey and also the Broncos jersey. So I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity that he's given me. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, Jeez. Thanks, X. <laughs> There's a few games where I have giving him a few tips and he's actually taken on board and you know it's, it's nice to know that you know he wants to get better. I don't think I'd, I'd try and step over the mark with him. Uh, he's still a kid, he's still got so much potential and you know what he's done to now is, is, is incredible and I just want to keep seeing him improve. Wednesday's series opener in Townsville will be Xavier's first origin on home soil and the 20 year old's presence means the Maroons have support even further north with his mum's family hailing from footy mad PNG. I never knew how much they loved it until I got older and started playing NRL. <laughs> it's, it's unreal to have that uh, support from up in PNG. I'd, 
Oh, honestly, I'm telling you now, I did not know how big it is over there until I started watching some stuff. Fingers crossed that they're all gone from our own, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> One of Queensland's greatest ever fullbacks is urging the Broncos to make a play for out of favour Dragons number one, Matt Dufty, after the Red V custodian tore Brisbane apart in a 52 points to 24 demolition, which included two tries and five try assists. They've got some talent up there. If you put to the likes of Dufty that are, that are um, using the football the way he is, um, he's certainly going to be an addi a great addition for the Broncos if he decides to go that way. Second game forward, TC Rabati was one shining light for the Broncos, the 19-year-old scoring two first-half tries. It takes a lot to bring Preston Campbell to tears, but they were hard to hold back as son Jaden gets set for his NRL debut. Presenting his jersey this morning, it got a bit emotional. It didn't go the way I really wanted it to. He's going to make a name for himself. I'll be more than happy to be known as Jaden Campbell's dad. <laughs> Greg Marsu will also debut against the Storm.